pay every body. It's Clone Clark Thunder Nine. Dawn of the second day, 48 hours remain. Hey everybody, it's Caleb, aka Clone Clark Thunder Nine, and welcome back from more Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we um. Got a secret code in the bombers. From the bombers. And in this episode, um. Um, I am actually going to grind up my money a little bit. Why? Because if you. Because remember the guy. The uh, bank worker? Uh. Oh, check this first. He who holds the sacred, sacred sword. Let leave proof of our, our counter. Um, yeah. So what I want to do is I want to, um... I want to, uh, get... Grind up my money a little bit until I have at least... Um, you know, in case you didn't know, you actually... At this point, you can only hold up to, uh... Uh, 299 rupees. I forget an easy way to get money, um, but I think if we go to Stockpot in, there is a we can get some. Oh wait, no, never mind. We can't. But what I am going to do is I'm going to uh, go over here. Or uh, I'm going to go back over here. And, um... Yeah. There, there is something that you actually can get. Um, if you destroy all these at once. You can get a red rupee, which is kind of cool. But the thing is, I'm too lazy to... You know, I think if we go over here, I may as well show this. This is easier to do on the first day, or rather this mini game that we're going to see right here. This is the Deku Playground right here. Now this right here is the Deku Playground. Fuck this, buddy. We're all run only to the carnival. So we have to, um... Um, we have to collect all the rupees in here, but if we fall over, it's game over. It's easier to do on the first day. I find this to be the hardest of the three. I never do this right. I think there is some money in these bushes. I don't know. No, there aren't. And somehow we go out of the coal, the hole from a light. Almost like my dog's name. Reference to Minecraft. Oh man. be honest, I don't really think we're going to be able to, uh, raise up to, uh, 100 rupees, or, or 200 rupees, if not 100. But, I don't really know, uh, you know what? You know what? Screw it, screw it, screw it. How about instead, we take a look around town? Town? Um, let's start with the mayor's office. Um, welcome, do you have some business? The room on the left is the mayor's room. It sounds like they're having kind of, some kind of meeting, I think. The room on the right is uh, the drawing room. It's also Madame Aroma's office. 
What do we got here? Ooh. What's going on here? Most of the town folks have already taken shelter without waiting, waiting for the mayor's orders. The only ones left are the public servants and the committee members. Mayor and the Chronicle Committee members. Please order those who remain to evacuate. Um, well... You cowards, do you actually believe that the moon will fall? That these confused town folks are simply cause them in panic believing this ridiculous groundless theory. A game theory. The soldiers couldn't prevent the panic there, um, but outside the town walls is where the danger is. You want answers? The answers to carnival should not be canceled. Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? Uh, well, are you serious, Moto? It seems like a giant chunk of rock above, uh, above us hasn't caught your eye. At this time every year, we are overrun by tourists. So why is the town so empty? Clearly, your job is to ensure the carnival's operation, but that's what heads of people are here for. It. Don't drag the merchants and, and soldiers into this. Mm -hmm. If the soldiers wish to run, then run, Vincent. We'll count them and stick the tradition. The carnival will be a success. I've never heard of defense abandoning this town. Madame Aroma should certainly say hey, the thing. Hey, wouldn't she, Mr. Tator? Mayor Tator. Let's not bring my wife into this. <laughs> um, go in here. Yeah, I'm Aroma's office. Are the fins damp completely? Oh, that's the green used among us, Sora. Why is your mama, Sunny? Huh? You came here by yourself? Well, aren't you a big boy? Oh dear, are you sitting in Deku Elementary? Where's the teacher? You shouldn't be here. Field trip go field trips go next door. Tell her teacher that. It's in here. I believe this is the drawing room. I don't really know. Oh, we got a nice fireplace. In the bed. That we can just walk over. We don't even need to jump. No, I like how Link is so small. He can't even. He has to jump to open doors. Next, uh. See, the thing is, this day. This game is on, you know, like a time, just like Pikmin, so, uh. Yeah. Uh, next, I want to show off the, uh. The treasure chest shop. Oh, what a cute little customer. So, do you want to play? For you, uh, only 10 rupees? Uh, no thank you. Not really. Too bad. Come again. Um, next I want to show off um, is the Honey and Darling Shop. They seem to be in love. <laughs> Um, looks like we have a visitor, honey. I wonder if it's a customer, darling. What shall we do, honey? From what I could see, he doesn't seem to be able to carry bombs. Oh my, then he can't play, can he, darling? Screw you. Fun couple. Um, over here. The town shooting gallery. Oh, when I saw that fairy, I thought I thought you were that troublemaking brat with a mask. Sorry, but you can't play if you don't have a bow. All right, whatever. I'm not really good at this mini game anyway. Who's that? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, but give us somebody. Oh, uh, can I speak to you? Can I speak? Can I speak to you? Uh, trying to speak, 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 
Oh, I guess I can't speak. Hold on. Wow, is it already night? Is it night already? Time flies, doesn't it? And, uh, if we go over here, and I have the second day, 36 hours remain. Uh, in here, we have the trading post with the scare scarecrows here. We also have the guy with a pretty, really itchy back. <laughs> Welcome, what are you, what are you, thank you, skid? You can't, you can't play here. If you want something, bring one of your parents. Apparently, they mistake me for a kid just because I'm small. Ruby. Um, over here. We have the bomb shot. Can't use any of them, but feel free to look around. We have bombs, which which we can't buy. Um, these are selling well, but you need a bomb bag to carry them. A ten bomb chew, which uh. Or, Sleek and self propelled, and the bomb bag. Alright. Oh, what's this dude? Whoa! Hello, did you come to buy a powder gun? This is just between us, but I have a huge bomb that this shop doesn't even carry. Oh, but my project is so heavy, I don't think he carry it. I'm sorry, I even brought it up. It's fine. Um, now let's exit. I think there's a different guy in the trading post at a, cer a certain time. We go in here, um, post office, which I can't even go in. <laughs> Over here is a swordsman school. This is the place for studying the way of sword. This is a place for no children to play. Screw you. I can hand I may be young, but I can I can still handle a sword. I even did back in Zelda 1. Uh, if we go in here, this is the lottery shop. Where if we um, where if we buy a lottery ticket, we actually can, uh, choo like, choose a number, and if we win, I think we get, like, 50% of our, our rupees back. Or, more than 50. Um, uh, I don't really know, I'll be honest with you. But, yeah. That's really all there is to show here in Clocktown. To be honest, I don't really know what to talk about. Like, I seriously think there's a different guy here at the training post that... Okay. <laughs> I guess we gotta wait till 10. go in here. Oh yeah, there's a different guy here. Welcome. Huh? Hey, you're just a dick, you kid. If we go in here, this is the curiosity shop. Anything that gets stolen from us will actually end up here. Hey, boy, shouldn't you be with your parents? Go on. Yeah! Alright, but, I guess now that we showed, or I showed you around town a little bit, I think that's going to be it for this episode, so, next time on Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, we're going to see what we can do about Skull Kid and the move. so, see you guys then.